What's going on everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com and in the last Dynasty video we took on Ford Atlantic and pretty much the same story we've seen for the last two seasons in this Dynasty. As long as I play well and don't turn the ball over I have no issues and the opposing offense just doesn't do all that well. I've tried to make some adjustments for those of you who've been keeping up with the Dynasty so far and nothing's really worked. Um, but I'm not a big slider tinker, so I'm not going to fool with that too much because it bores me to death. But as you can tell, we won by 24. And today we're going to take on Louisiana Lafayette. Similar talents. They're 4-2, and two, but according to their stats, they're not doing a whole lot. They run a balanced offense, 4-3 defense. So we'll just see how this goes. Uh, for those of you who may have, who are subscribed to my channel and read my post, on some thoughts that I'm going to do with the channel lately. You read about what I'm going to do with this dynasty. I'm probably going to, I'm going to finish this season at least. And then I may back out and try to do some different things. I got some other ideas of mine and I don't have enough room for that when I still want to do my 06 stuff. And I want to add some more things into that. And so something's got to go away of some sort. And it'll probably be this dynasty just because, I mean, I'm having somewhat fun, but it's just not as fun as 06 for me. There, it just has enough problems that I just want to do other things. Plus, I've been playing other football games, too. We'll talk about that down uh, down the road. Let's get out of here and go to in-season recruiting. I'm just curious to see what we got going on here, if we got to make any changes. Looks like we got one guy ready to visit. He'll visit today. I think we're going to get him if we just don't mess up. Let's see. Coach success, uh, Damien is very, uh, playing right away, location, and style of football. Coach, that's, so that's coach prestige, playing time, location, and style of football. I don't, or uh, a coach and style. So none of the program prestige could be a one. Let's do playing time. We don't want to have, our program prestige isn't good enough. But I think that's what he cares about. Because you look at the other two teams, it's Miami and Tennessee. But I'm still going to go play in time for now for him. And we'll see if we look out there. Uh, Damian Cummy, the halfback, is going to visit today. It looks like... Is that the Zach? Okay, no wonder I was goofing up here. It's the halfback we just done. Yeah. So we're going to do play in time for him. Next up, we have Lawrence Craig, the wide receiver. We'll have him come today. Ugh. So we're not going to get a positive pitch. So it's going to be tough for us to get him. Unless we just really put on a show today. So it doesn't matter what I pick. Because there's no positive pitch to go along with the negative. So I, we'll just go uh, location maybe. I don't know. Again, it's not going to really matter. Next up, Matt Graham tackle. He is visiting today. He's not worried about academics nor program prestige. He's from Florida. Miami, Florida State. I'm going to do location again. Uh, that's fine. Uh... We're still in good shape for this wide receiver. He's not ready to visit yet. And we got Victor Dowdell. He will visit today because I want to get these guys out of the way. Let's see. Coaching style, then coach prestige, and then academics. So I can do playing time or probably location. Again, we don't have a good enough program prestige for this to matter. I think he's going to go to Miami. But we will still go with playing time and see if he likes that. So we're in good shape for a lot of these. Again, I'm going to probably end this dynasty after this season just because there's other things I want to do, but I still want to go through all of my motions and such because, uh, I mean, you never know something could could change, but I didn't want to just, like, quit on the recruiting altogether. Uh, let's just go straight to the ESPN, the magazine, and we'll go to conference standings. Here we are. Nothing has changed. Just the same six, seven guys that have been on the list in some form or fashion. I do want to go check out Louisiana Lafayette. Looks like their quarterback is their leading rusher and passer. So I assume he can run a little bit. Uh, receiver's not doing a whole lot. And looks like they got one guy leading in tackles and interceptions. Otherwise, that doesn't tell me much. So we'll just get right into it. Like I said earlier, I've been playing some other football games. For those of you who did read that post uh, that I'm excited about, wanted to add more content to the channel. I've, I'm coming up with some different ways to talk about... I want to really talk about playbook stuff. I, that's just what I really enjoy, and I feel like I can help out others the most with that. So I'm, I'm starting to get some ideas on how to present that in various ways 
on different games without having to feel tied down to a dynasty. Because dynasties take up time and space, and I want to just have one dynasty going at all times. And I have no desire to get rid of my 06 dynasty, because I'm really enjoying that. And I mean, it's challenging still. Unfortunately, compared to 07, where it's just, for whatever reason, we can't get the opposing team to do much against me. Looks like we got good... I accidentally pressed the button. That's okay. I don't think we was going to miss anything. Uh, we want the ball to start in the second half. I would. I don't want to quit this season. I don't want to be like a quitter quitter. <laughs> I, I, I don't mind finishing this season, at least. I want to see some closure on this and down on this season to see how that goes so here's our starting quarterback he can run quite a bit so we will not blitz at all he'll just run away from it and we don't i'd rather him stay in the pocket and try to make throws on us half back they're going to impact guys so this should be an interesting test we'll see if their backfield really does damage on us you know we've struggled to see that so far this year full bag receivers just average got a tight end that's out today i'm not going to get much out of the other one either 78, 78, 74, 74, and 70. Not a very good offensive line. Hopefully we can take advantage of that. They do run a 4-3 defense, so 76 and 74 on the ends. They got a... I don't know why they have an impact defensive tackle at 72 overall. I think that's goofy. I think that's a programming glitch. This guy should have that, but whatever. Uh, impact outside linebacker. Uh, 72 and 72, though, for the other linebackers. Corners... Just, again, just average. Okay at free safety. Not very good at strong safety. Not a bad kicker and a very terrible punter. And I think that's it. So we can go ahead and get started. Kick it away from the impact guy. You can tell that wind is going to be a, a impact today. Let's go. We're going to go quarters? I honestly, they may just run the ball a ton today. I didn't think about that. I probably need to do a lot of one high. That's a good play right there. Good spin. Gets by five out of that. Oh, picks up seven. So let's do a one high. We'll do that at least. Run a triple. It's a good play there. Going with three wide again. I'm still going to stick with a one high. Yeah, let's go back. Not a big fan of that slot being that far away. Uh-oh. Big play right there. Well, they're moving the ball well. That's good. That's encouraging. I'll just go back to another one high. Counter. Good stop there. He probably got a couple yards at least, though. Let's try the over front. I wish there was more one highs out of that stack look, but there isn't. We'll flip it. No way I can get a safety right in the middle of the field. It's a good stop there. So now it's third and long. Third and nine. What we can do... We'll just do cover three. I am going to do a spy look with my defensive end on the right because this quarterback is a righty. And he ran to his left. That was interesting. You rarely see them do that unless they're left-handers. So they're on the 37. They may go for this. Nope, they're going to punt it. Okay. Let's do a... Where's the safety? I want to try. Let's do a safe return. I have a feeling they're going to kick this thing in the end zone. Hopefully nothing goofy happens. I'm not real fond of running, calling this. Everybody get out of the way. Get out of the way. So where are we? We are on the... 
four yard line. Let's get the ball out quick here just to get some yards back. They're going, man, they're going down. Hmm. We'll do this. There we go. Just get out of the end zone. I just need to get the ball out super quick. We've done that. Let's run counter. We're going zone. 4-3. We'll run to our right. Ah, just great defense. Just nothing there. So my counter and slam just hasn't been working all that well this year. We must have had a better offensive line last season. I don't really remember. They're going zone here. No, they've really struggled in coverage, and they missed a lot of tackles in the running game. This defense just really hasn't clicked this year. First down to our tight end. Been our MVP of the season so far. Let me try a basic slam from wide trip. So I'm going to see if we can get that going. They are going zone 4-3. We're doing that. I'm going to go to the right. Super. Oh, man, I thought I had something on the outside there. Whew, that was a good run, though. We picked up eight. Let's go here and run flanker curl. They're going man. I want to pick a different route for our guy over there, just in case. They're bringing everybody. See if he can make a play. Good play by Williams. Pretty good throw. That's a good start. We're going to go. I'm going to go slam out of ace normal. Going zone here. We'll go to our right, looks like. Did I get him off sides? Maybe. Good little play there. He, it looks like he got back on the line, but just good blocking across the board here. Look at that push. Tied in, my right tackle. Had all this room to run. So the slam concept is working. So they have us where? On the four? Let's uh, go. Let's do turn in. We're going man. I may, I may bounce this to Uber. Ah, that kills me. He was looking for his running back, but the pass just I may... Mm, let's see what happens, what go, what defense they go with when I call this. Okay, they're spreading out a little bit. They are... Oh, that looks cool. That looks like a hot route on the right, or a an option route. That's the sun coming through the door right there. Okay, that was weird. It looked like he was running either a go or a curl. All right, that's a good start. Easy touchdown right down the field. Had good protection across the board. Good throw by Craddock. We'll kick an extra point. We'll get back on defense, see if they can muster up something. Part of that post that I wrote last night, I talked about a special project that I'm working on I think a lot of people will be excited about. I think I may have that up and running in a couple of days. So, I'm not working tomorrow. Nobody is. It's being it's going to be Labor Day. So, I'm going to have plenty of time to maybe finalize a lot of that. So, you may see that tomorrow night. We'll see how that goes. Stewart under front. Let's go back to one high. Good defense. Good D. So they're throwing a little bit. They're keeping it fairly balanced. I still want... There's a crash goal. We're going to call that one. Um, they're still... I feel like they're going to run the ball a whole lot more. So that's what we are... I'm going to leave everything as is. We're in our natural under front. 
Good stop there by the unblocked defensive end. Snaz third and nine. Let's see how they handle basic cover two man. Let's control a defensive end. Good throw. First down. Nobody could get to him in time. Of course, we only rushed three. So that's expected, I guess. They are lacking this formation a lot. Good play there. So they're doing a decent job against man. We'll go back to one high out of the natural under front. We'll flip that. He's going to get some blocking. That was a good little hesitation there. Got, a, what, a couple of yards? Picked up three. That is it for the quarter. We're up a touchdown. Both teams are moving the ball. Taking up time. That's why that quarter went by so quick. And everything kind of stayed on the field. Didn't have a lot of stoppages. Let's do quarters at a 4-3. Make good decisions. Make Intercept that. Oh, wow. Ended up just being a great throw. I was expecting my corner to do something here. He just kind of, oh, just bad timing. Good play by them. This quarterback doesn't seem to be having any trouble with the zone, does he? He recognized the receiver was behind the coverage, and he found him with a perfect... Uh, let's just do another one high. I think they're going to start running. Good stop there in the backfield. They ran a little QB choice. Still one high out of nickel. Defense gets set to defend the short field. The D line shifts over. I may control the blitzer myself. Looks to the Intercepted. End. We'll just stay in. Yeah. We'll just get in the end zone. So, the makes so he avoided the blitz. You see, I'm coming around. Somebody picked me up. I think it was the halfback. No, he just got in the way. Well, the uh, an offensive lineman made a, a good block there. He was going to go to the slant of some sort, but had a safety sitting right there. So good defense. We are on the 20. I don't know where we are on the 20. Let's see. We are in the middle of the field. Let's try toss play for the first time. They're going man. Let's see if I can draw anybody off sides. I may have got him off sides. Get a block right there. Good block. Great play there. We will decline that. We got a flag down on the field. Might have been offside. Decline it. Great run there. So the run game's going fairly well. That's encouraging. I want to stay here. And let's do. Where's an ad? We're going to do slants. Please go zone. I want to see him go zone. Okay, they're going to go zone. We're going to bounce this to Suber. We're going to slide our protection. Ah, dang it. He didn't curl back to the outside. I guess that was a bad throw. So it's second and 11. We'll go back to our bread and butter curl flats to get us out of this situation. We're going zone here. What I may do... We'll put him on a slant in case there's a hole there. Right down the middle. Great little play here. So what we see is... Uh, let's use my telestrator. So I have a curl right here. I got a slant over here. This is man. This is zone. I hot ratted this guy to a slant just in case there was a hole right here. And we have a curl right there. And there was a big hole right here as you can see. 
zoom in. They bl weird blitzes here, but in the end, there was still a hole. So I just fanced at the hem. So that was a good adjustment to pick up some easy yardage. Back to, we are on the right hash again. Let's go back to the run game. Let's just go back to slam from Ace Normal again. They're going zone. Ooh, I guess we're going to go to the left. Uh, uh, just good day. Try to break one tackle, but couldn't get the other one. We are going to go here. Super is about to die, but we're going to give him one more chance. We're going to go quick slants. Let's see if he can make a play off of this one. Number 12 comes to the line with three wide. Drops back to pass. He unloads it. There we go. We're not going to get the yards. or not going to get the first down. That's third and five. We are in two down territory. I will just go back to something simple. Just pick up the first. They're going to zone us to death. We're going to do our same adjustment, though. We're going to have that slant over the middle. Not seeing the opening there. Just enough for the first down. Pretty good throw. Now I want to go to another pass since Super is out. Let's go with X Dig Z Whip. We're going man here. This will probably go to Williams or Jacoa. We'll leave that protection as is. They're bringing everybody... Make a play, Jacoa. They brought both safeties. They're coming down, so I'm going to my cover zero beater, which is my tight end, and I'm putting just a little bit of English on it. He gets pretty decent separation. The thing he is here is he's just bigger than that other guy, and that's just a great jump ball situation. You want to see that every time. Good play there. We are on the 17 on the left hash. Let's go with something from here. X post. Uh, let's do X post. And since we're in the red zone, let's we're going. There's. Mm, I may just run this, but they got two impact guys underneath. He is being double teamed. Let's do an uh, audible. Just good little run there. They went dime, so I felt the need to run up the gut. So formation audibles are great when you're using the actual. Playbook, a default playbook, not your own. Uh, let's go back to slants. We're going man. This will go to Jacoa. Ah, uh, just enough. Not a very good throw, but he made the catch. We can go back here. Let's see what's available. Let's do drive. They're going zone. I hope I don't goof up here. I mean, like, I really hope I don't. Six points. Good deal. So, on this play, we got a nice little concept. We have a go route. I'm ignoring him because he doesn't have enough space. We got an out route over here. This is going to be my main zone beater. Then we have a deep dig, and then we have this guy coming over here. It's technically a shallow route, but it's this concept, you know, it's called drive. And since they were going zone, I was naturally going to see if there was a hole here, and there was with the shallow, and if not, I was going to go to this guy right here. So when you snap the ball, there's just nobody in this vicinity. So it just makes sense to go to your shallow for an easy touchdown. Good little play. So there's a minute and a half. I probably should have ran some clock there. I didn't think about that. I wasn't paying attention to it. Line up for the extra point here. Extra point. Then we'll get back on defense. We may have enough time to get the ball back and try to do something before the half ends. Let's go back and kick it over here. He sends it off. Schmidt passes it to five. Go over here. Alright. We will do quarters for now. Here's 
you would think they're going to try to throw, get down the field, and score. At least attempt. I got some bodies on my side of the field. Ooh, he was wide open. And they went to that guy instead. That makes a lot of sense. We will stick. Let's do an over front quarters. Give him just a bit of a different look. We need. Yes, I like the way that's set up. I didn't do my. Dang it. I didn't do my bump and run. Looks like we didn't need it. So it's third and nine. Let's see what they do. They may run some clock here. I probably should have called timeout. I'm going to control our defensive end on the ride, the impact guy. Yeah, they're going to run that clock. I'm not going to waste a timeout now. Too late for that. Or I could just blast into this guy. My goodness. Okay, we got to call a timeout. So we got less than a minute. We're going to go offense, and we'll go offensive line. I don't know if that affects just the next play or the next several plays. I'm not really sure. So that may have been a waste right there since technically my offensive line isn't out on the field. Somebody get a block. That ain't going to happen. No, we're going to have to fair catch that. So let's get down the field a bit. We haven't got to call this play yet. Deep comeback. They're going man dime. What I may do... We can do this instead. Good throw. Get out of bounds. Little comeback. Where are we? Let's go with... I need Super out there, so I need to call a different play. Let's do... X post. We're going to flip it. We're going man. First down. Let's do this. Bring him over. Doing that. My dig is wide open. Boom. I saw that before he even made his cut. My dig on the left. I could tell he was going to be wide open. Because first of all, it's a good round. Second, there is nobody sitting here. So he just needs to make his strong cut. As he done right there. And that was easy pickings. So the clock is still going. It will be. There should be... Where's that at? There's a deep comeback from I-Twins. Going zone here. Let's get to the line. Another great throw. Get out of bounds. Went cover three, if I'm not mistaken. No, they went cover two. I bet my post trap was wide open right here. Oh, my gosh. Look how wide open he was. That was six points. I just missed him. There was more coverage by the refs. Ah, dang it. That's my fault. That's okay. We got out of bounds. We're on the 15. We can go back. Let's stay in this formation. I'm going to go back to slants. Had her going man, so we will. Um, We'll probably go to our tight end, I guess. He jumped early. Oh, no. And they didn't get back. Or they did get back in time. We'll go offense and offensive line. I completely goofed up that play. That was me that got stuck on the center. We'll go to Suber here. Ah, they got to me in time. Somebody came through. Yeah, it's good. I just didn't get it off in time. That was six points. So where are we? We are on the 16, third and 11. How can I get... Uh, I got an idea. We haven't called this play in a long time. We're going to split in drag. My tight end should be in there. They're going man. Please go at least cover one. I'd love to go to Jacola in the corner. Okay, let's see what happens. Make the play, Jacola! <laughs> Woo! Oh, that never gets old. They called the defense that I wanted them to call. We may get a flag here. Just a great play. Great throw. I mean, that defensive player has no chance on him. 
That may be another thumbnail possibility. But you go back here. This is just a great concept. This is, I mean, this is the biggest reason why I was playing 07 to, to begin with, is the playbooks are pretty fun. We got a flag grant. This is my main go-to of it was cover 0 or 1. And I had a shallow route coming this way. That would have been more or less a, a better zone beater. But he can attack man. Then he got a go route with a post off of it. And they went cover one at least. We knew they was going man. So I was just looking at this guy after the snap. And he went this way. And by the time Jacoa made his move on the right, it was a one-on-one -on -one situation at this point. As soon as he made his cut, you could see this guy is going in this direction, and so he had no chance of coming over here to double team. So I'm just going, making an easy throw to the to the Jacola. Just a great play. Good to see my tight end do things. I like it. So we're now up 21 to nothing, or we'll be here shortly. I just wish. Lafayette would do something offensively. They got a pretty decent backfield. They're supposed to, and we're just not feeling it. So I know a lot of people who think the impact player thing on in 06 is way overpowered. Uh, compared to 07, uh, yes, because I don't feel any effects from impact guys in this game. So it's a give or take situation. We'll just do a one high. I'm assuming they want to get out of the half. We'll leave it as is. Get our safety down a little bit to cover the tight end. They're going to throw it. And they got to him. Just That should be end of the half. As bad as a good as a half of we could ask for. Everything went right. Both sides of the ball. No issues whatsoever. We'll check out some stats here in a little bit. Second down, 13 yards to go. The D-line shifts over. 21 to nothing, just another easy peasy game so far. Offensively, our passing game has been practically flawless. Craddock is playing really well, and they're giving us some good looks to attack their defense. We're even running the ball well when we're doing it. That's what's surprising me. Again, CPU offense, they struggle on third down. Even when I was throwing a basic cover two at them, that was the one time they converted it was that cover two. They had only just one turnover. And the rest of it, I do want to check out. Broken tackles. Their main guy just has one. I, I try to fix that with a slider, and it just didn't work all that well. It did work a little bit in the last game. Their Ford Atlantic's leading running back had like six or seven broken tackles that game. It didn't make a difference, though, in the grand scheme of things. Get the third quarter underway. We have the ball. We're on the right hash. Let's pick something from this formation. Let's do this wide receiver screen. I think I tried this once and <laughs> we uh, turned the ball over. That happened last year. Let's have him do that since he's not going to get the ball off this screen. We're going to probably go to Jacola. Best tight end in the country, baby. At least I'm trying to make him as such. We've done a good job of it so far. Let's go back to that toss play. We ran it in the second quarter and got a good gain off of it. Let's see if we can get the same thing here. That's a heavy shift. I may just leave it as is. Get a block right there. Nope, just nothing. Good day. We're on the 11, or second and 11. Let's make up those yards with a curl flat of some sort. They're going zone. I would love to run it, but not against those two impact guys. And they are, I don't know what they're doing here. That is a weird setup. Ah, good D. Yeah, he tipped it. That was my fault, I guess. That kind of threw me off. I saw it look how wide open he was right here, but I just didn't throw it quick enough. Good defense by the guy coming over. I threw it way too late. Well, that's not the start you wanted for the half. 
We'll go back to one high. I should have stuck with my reads and not get fancy on that one. Wasn't used to that look anyways. He tried to one-hand it. Catch it. I think he threw a little bit behind him. Let's do quarters? I was I thought they was going three wide at the most. That's why I went four three. Ah, good play. Good little spin. So it's third and one. We will go. Let's do an SS fire out of 46. I'm fine with all of that. We'll just leave it as is. We stopped him. I'll be. Okay. We will kick a field goal. Oh, they will. So part of me wanted to add some extra football game and stuff from other games to the channel is I really want to help out on the playbook side of things, and I, I'm starting to get some good ideas for myself and from a couple other people on how to do some of that. Really excited about every bit of that. Just got to get around to doing it. That stuff will pop up a whole lot more once this season ends. Kudos to our defense. Just forcing a field goal, not giving up a touchdown. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. McNair may be gone. Oh, may be gone. Six points. Ah, oh, this is pretty cool. Oh! <laughs> Why not? That's so stupid. Oh, wow. What a blunder. <laughs> I should have just ran in. I'm an idiot. That's so funny. I thought he was going to do his fancy jump over the line thing. Nope. We'll get the touchdown. I'm so sorry, McNair. I'm going to have to give him a touchdown later on. I dove at the one. <laughs> Woo! Oh, that's great. <laughs> Either way, that was a whole lot of fun seeing that. That'll definitely be a thumbnail opportunity, that kickoff return. Oh, I took away a touchdown from him. I didn't mean to. So back to defense we go. We pretty much acted like we was on a, that full drive anyways. We'll go over here. Kick it over here. Not going to be the best kick. We will do a, uh, let's just do a two high man. I picked the wrong play. Let's, there we go. I figured that was the default. I don't have any defensive audible set up. I figured default man two high would be right there. Halfback read is just not a very good play in this game. Defensive lineman will usually come right on through and make a play. Let's do undercover two man. I like the way that's set up, so we'll leave it as is. I want to see if I can pick one off. Nope, they're going to go fullback over. They're going to pick up four-ish, five maybe. Let's do cover two man. Why not? Let's shift that way, see if that changes anything. P.E. Reed, no, they're going to run it. He, look Whatever. Whatever. We'll get the ball back. Actually, that was a dumb play call. I know the guy's got some speed, but that's just, you know, whatever. Okay. We'll get back on offense and try to get another touchdown. I am going to keep this. Let's run the ball. I want to try counter again. We've tried it once and it did not work. Let's do it from here. Go in zone. This may be really dumb doing it like this. I'm going to stay away from their impact guys. Good block. Ah, good D. Contained just enough, so it's second and forever. 
Let's go deep comeback, get those yards back. They are going man. I'll probably leave it as is. Nope. Overthrew it. Just enough. So it's third and forever. Let's go split in drag. We're going zone. Probably will be going to cannon here. Intercepted. That's just, yeah, I threw that way too early. That was my fault. I should have just took that sack. Somebody came through. Yeah, I jumped the snap and another blitz. I should have went to this guy right here. I should have used him as my safety valve. That's my fault. My bad, my bad. These guys are all over the field. It seems like wherever the quarterback throws the ball, there's a defender. Let's do quarters at a nickel. So I feel like both of those interceptions were on me for sure. Or they can go halfback direct here. Pick up a first. Let's do a one high. Here's a look at the offensive production statistics brought to you by Coca Cola. Lafayette has a grand total of 129 yards. Should be a sack. He threw and got it off quick. He had to. He was fixing to get sacked. Second and ten. They're doing that. Hmm. Let's do a one high from here. I think they're going with the big set. And they are. Let's do that. Give them a different look. Ah, that was my fault. I didn't contain. Should have contained on the outside, and I didn't. We'll do crash gold. Touchdown. Well, that's what you get for turning the ball over. They'll more than likely make a play on you. So now I think they got, we still got some of the momentum. Whether that affects anything or not, I can't tell. So we'll try not to do anything stupid on offense next time. We'll get that touchdown back. We'll keep it simple. Try not to get a loss of five on a run like last time. Just don't thumb blitz. Uh, we are on the right hash. Let's go back to curl flat. We're going man this time, what I would like to do. We're going to spread out our protection. We'll do that just in case. Somebody came up. See, but Chicola can make a play. Huge. They went cover zero. We will decline that. We will decline it. And let's go to the run game. Chicola, what a stud. So much fun having a tight end that can make plays. But again, they brought both safeties. So I just went to him on the go route. That's another thing. I know a lot of people feel like 06, the deep ball is a little too easy. I think it's just as easy in this game. I've never had any real issues, to be honest. We're going to go to the right here. Maybe I can get them off sides again. Ah, dang it. Man, that could have been six points if he would have held that block just a little bit longer. That's a good run, though. Let's run the same thing. We'll do it from strong normal this time. We're going zone. Uh, we'll go this way. Pick up the first. Good run there. He's still feeling okay. Let's go back to counter. Maybe Jacoa can get a good block on that impact guy on the right. He did. 
Subaru's a little gas. You could tell his speed wasn't there. We are on the 24. Let's go curls from here. They're going zone. I am going to more likely go to my fullback. Let's make it a little bit easier on him. Do that. Oh, intercepted. Woo, good catch. That was scary. It took him forever to get over. That's why I don't throw it to him. He's so slow. So it's third and three. That was risky. Took him forever to get over there to his spot. Go tiny corner. I'm kind of glad they're going zone. We've had some struggle throwing it to Super on this play, but we'll go to Williams. Oh, good cut. He needed to do. That was a terrible throw. He had to come back for it. On the nine. Let's go back to slam. They're going zone. We will go to the right. I think that's a wise choice. Get away from those two impact guys. Good blocking. Good blocking. Ah. So we got the touchdown back, as promised. Jacoa, he's playing at another level right now. Blocking, catching the ball. And they line up for the point after. So we'll see if Lafayette can go down the field and score again. I think it helped that they got a touchdown off one of my turnovers. We will kick it away from their impact guy on the right. Not the strongest kick. There you go. Just run towards the other side of the field. Let's do a two high man. I uh, no, let's do that. We'll do our under front. They're going to play action. Wide open. Wow, he was wide open. Go back and look at this. How did he get so wide open? Whatever reason, I don't know who was supposed to be on him. He's just wide open. That's a good little player out there. Huh, okay. They got nine yards out of that. We'll just stick with two high man. I want to see if I can pick one off with the safety. Nope, we need to go back. That's I had it correctly. Wide open again, fullback, a little spider two wide banana right there. We'll see how they handle quarters. Let's do that, get five guys on the line. Ah, good blocking. I couldn't get away from that guy. Halfback direct's been their success, lone successful run concept today. For some big yards. Here are the offensive production stats. Brought to you it's good that they're moving the ball a little bit. That's all. I mean, that's again, that's been my biggest crap with this game up to this point. Is just the offense just struggles on their side of the ball, or when they are on offense. And I, I get tired of fooling with sliders. And I was suggested to use somebody else's sliders, and I may do that. I don't know. I just I hate fooling with that stuff. Good blocking. Pick up the first there. We'll just stick in too high, man. We got the game under wraps. We're up 25 with a little over three minutes to go. Number six comes to the line with three wide. Little handoff. Gets past the tackler. He's making some plays. He's starting to do a little bit of it. I think they may score on this drive unless something happens. 
Nope, I need it. No, dang it. I'm gonna mess up here. Be careful. Wide open. Yeah. I didn't mean to control the safety on a core on a quarters coverage. I was gonna mess that up one way or the other. Let's do a one high from four three. And it gave the quarterback an opportunity to deliver a very nice throw. So their last red zone visit resulted in a touchdown. Let's see if the defense... Ah, dang it. That's good defense. I should have been the one to make that play, and I was way, a, way out of position. They're going with a bigger set, but I'm going to stick with a two-high man. At least it said they was going to go with a one wide receiver look. He had no chance right there. Both of my impact guys were sitting there waiting on him. So it was third and 13. I'm going to do a man cover two. Uh, we'll just do it. At a, I pressed the wrong play again. Oh, there we go. It said they was going too wide. And they're not. So we got a linebacker on that slot. Good defense. One of the best throw in the world either. We'll just call it the same thing. So it's fourth down and the offense is still on the field. They line up in an eye. They need this pass. He's going right. His back makes the catch. That was a good try. They almost got the first down. And they stopped them again, coach. So two and a half minutes to go. We need to just get out of the end zone. Let's run basic slam. We'll run clock the rest of the way. Going zone. I think I'm going to go to the left. <laughs> I wanted to go inside. That guy, he blitzed, so I couldn't do that. I wanted to go up right the middle there, but that guy was chasing me. But good block by Williams, just enough to get that guy out of the way. So just get around him enough to pick up the first down, and we stayed in bounds. So good little play. Let's do counter from this formation our backup tight end is a good blocker so i don't mind running the ball out of this formation because of that we're going man again well, let's go to the left we'll run some clock and we'll end this thing good block there nope and good job of super making something out of nothing Second and five. He's still feeling okay. We can try toss again. It's worked one out of three times today. And they're going dime. I probably need to just run up the middle on this one. Looks like we're going to go with an ISO look. That's one thing I love about 07 formation audibles. It just makes things... So handy. I, dang it, that was all my fault. I goofed up on that one big time. The running back gets a yard. My bad, my bad. We'll curl flat it. Or going man, I flipped it just so Jacola could be my zone beater on the left. But since they're going man, we don't have to worry about that. We can just do this again. If they go cover zero, you better believe I'm going to go over the top. Otherwise, I'll probably go to Williams on the left. That's a good matchup for us. And I got hit as soon as I threw it. Yeah, it's good defense. Somebody came off the edge. I think the impact guy. Yeah, good blitz. I just couldn't get off in time. So we'll punt it. I really wanted to convert that so we could end the game sooner. The snap. I'll probably high kick this a little bit. He this one Just so he doesn't return it. For a fair catch. A they got a decent field position. We'll go cover two man. Give them the most basic look possible and see how they handle it. Basic drop back over here, and he just dropped it. Too wide, supposedly, so we'll do 
4-3 too high, man. That's my type of shift right there. I like that a whole lot better than the natural under and over fronts that they added to this game. We will go defense, and let's go linebackers. Looks like they're going with another two-wide set. Supers are player of the game. I figured Jacola may have gotten that, but guess not. It's a good try. They'll go for it. We'll go defense. Let's do defensive line. Oh, they're going to... Why do they call a timeout to punt it? That's so stupid. Why do they do that? Now, the sliders can't fix stupidity on that right there. That's all game engine stuff and programming. Now, they may fake it here. Nope, they're not even going to do that. We'll fair catch it. I'm going to take an E going forward. There's no point getting anybody injured. Well, that was fun. I mean, the I mean, just besides Lafayette, just couldn't really get anything going. As usual. If I could ever get that somewhat fixed in this game without having to put a whole lot of time into sliders... And being said, see, I don't like dealing with other people's sliders because I've never had luck with them. Everybody has a different feel of what you're supposed to be doing with sliders. Some people think this needs to be jacked up, or what you know, everybody's got a different opinion on it. That's why I'm not a big fan of using other people's sliders because I've just never been very successful with them. That's why it's easier for me to go off my opinion what I think I should be doing, but. Again, it's a, such a slow process for me, and I just don't enjoy dealing with it. All right, end of the game. Let's check out some stats. We can get out of here. That's out of a couple goofy turnovers, all 100% on me. We played pretty well. We didn't even... Only 332 yards today. Of course, like I said, a couple of those interceptions caused us from getting more yards. We didn't run the ball as well in the second half as we did in the first. But honestly, that's about as good as an offense I've seen uh, CPU went up against us this year. I mean, they almost had more yards than Wisconsin and uh, LSU. We sacked them a ton. But again, this is the problem. And I ran the most basic coverages in the world. And third down, they just can't get anything going. It doesn't matter. They just can't. And I don't know how to fix that part. I don't know... Um, somebody suggested maybe lower the CPU de or my defensive awareness, and that may be a good idea to do in the next game. Again, we had our two turnovers. What I wanted to check is go to individual. I have four broken tackles from that guy. That's pretty good. That's I'm okay with that. Again, their averages are good. He had 100 yards. If you saw this and didn't see anything else, that would make you think, all right, their offense done well. I think what I think the biggest problem... With passing, again, 11 of 18, that's not bad. 61% completion percentage, but they just don't throw it far a lot. And I, I ran a ton of one high. Today. They had one deep bomb that they at least attempted. I don't know. I'm not going to drive myself crazy over little stuff like that. But I guess the CPU just isn't as aggressive in this game as they are maybe other ones. I don't know. Okay, we'll get out of here. We'll see who our next op opponent is. Florida Atlantic, they are awful. Just having a terrible season. They're not good at anything. We should steamroll them. So we'll see what happens there. I don't, I don't expect much from them. As long as we don't turn the ball over a ton, I think we'll have no issues. So come on back. We'll take on Florida International. And I'll talk to you later.